rather pedantic yeah. with Terry. Yeah, me, yeah, I can be very pedantic. <laughs> um, I set it up exactly north to south, within a degree or two. Okay? And there was a reason for that, because it helps me visualise it for some sort of combat. So you, this is done north to south, deliberately. So Aries, the sunrise, and the spring equinox are here in the, excuse me, the east, quite deliberately. Now, Howard, I did a ritual for you a few weeks back, and you've honoured me by saying that it was exceptionally good and one of the best that you've ever attended. Thank you. When I did that ritual at the Nine Ladies, there was an element of confusion because I moved the elements, didn't I? And it caused a little bit of confusion. That's uh, because in the system the half uses and the system that some other groups use, including people who have been influenced by, such as Cochrane, we move things around. Air is in the north. Fire is in the east. Earth is in the south. But water is in the west. And in the half of the turning wheel, we have four totems. Um, and these totems are have homes, so to speak. And these homes correspond with certain points of what we call the compass. Charlotte will correct me if I get this wrong. Right. <laughs> so I wanted to show you this, and this is the horseshoes will help me. So a totem of the heart is the hair woman. She lives in the south. Another totem of the heart. I use this when I do your names. Also cause confusion. Yeah, they were all recognised. After yeah. many, many years, and then something came in and just threw it all out. Yeah, I did something completely different. <laughs> yes. Ah, the ram, Aries, which father? Great ram goes in east. The stag should be a white stag representing the underworld. Confused with water, it's the underworld that's in the west. And in the north, we have what we call the crow one, the black. Crow woman or the raven is black, the ram is black, the hare is white, the sack should be white. And that is the half system of four, and they do correspond with. Four of the cross quarter, the four, the four cross quarter days, and some of the seasons as well. But they may not correspond with what you are used to, if you are heavily influenced by, say, the Golden Dawn, OTO, or Wicca. Other systems have different ways of doing it. The Druids. Who's a Druid? Any Druids? You know the Druids? Anyone knows the Druid elements? No. You are. No, I'm not here. Yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, saw, I, saw, I saw you in Jewish garb. Uh, I just like white. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I wear white. Well, remember, I wear black occasionally. This, yeah. this is Sir Tattoo Mate. Yes, I've got Druid friends and I do get a knighthood from King Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> Druid system. Slightly similar, but they change things around. You've always got the salmon wisdom, the wisdom in the west, haven't you? Hmm? Mm -hmm. We're used to that one. But there's another system, Jamagari, for example, um, the Cornish craft. Yeah. They're very found with frogs and toads, so they have a way to put them in the west <coughs> instead. There's an American friend of mine. He uses a system of the compass. He doesn't have the same totems. Fire is represented. <coughs> by the red fox. There's another system, <coughs> again I think it's the Cornish one, you're going to like this one, it's the Adam, representing fire. So there's different systems, I'm not going to use all of these, it's always debatable where you put them. So I've got a horse which is sun, where's the sun going? It could be over here. But White, it's a white horse, it's a fairy steed. It's an underworld, could go over there. So this one's a bit of a difficult one to place. I also mentioned about the extra day, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Extra day. Now, we were talking about 
choices of these. Now, I've used the most common sort of symbolism here. Right? The, the tarot that I've used is the Kirtley Davis Celtic tarot, and I used it because it's very traditional in the way it's associated the cards with the star signs. Because if you get some of them, they, they make so many changes to the order, it's very difficult to do a presentation like this. You need a very basic step one. The room cards, I can't remember where I got those from, to be quite honest with you. They might have been free with something. They're <laughs> useful. I'm using the 24, because the 24 is based on Nigel Pennett. That's one of the references I'll be giving. It works, it fits. I'm not sure about the origins for his system. I've got a feeling he made it up. But it works. Who cares? Shani has reminded me of other room systems. It was the Northumbrian, you said, wasn't it? 33 rooms. That's rather interesting because that's 24, so you can do this, eight for the eight festivals, leaves one over. Where does the other one go? The other one is actually the fixed piece that goes in the middle, it's the earth, it's the center, it's the hub. What's that word there? Uh, Chumley uses. Kuta, thank you. Um, you say, it. yeah, it means the point, the center of the universe. Um, Yes. Yidrisul. The Omphalos. Sorry? Yidrisul. Yes. I mean, if I had wanted to, I could have brought in a lot of gear. I could have probably overwhelmed you with too much information. I could have stuck a pole in the middle with arrows pointing on it and lined them up to the four cross quarter days. But it can be a bit too overwhelming. The oh, I'm using the most common. The order's slightly different, but to be honest with you, I'm never really convinced by Gray's argument that the order should be changed. You know that argument about the BLF, or is it BLN one? You know, there's always that. I'm not really convinced about his arguments on that one. But I've used the most common one. But I've used trees. I could have used others. I could have used animals, flowers, because there are other owls. I could have used birds. And if I'd have used birds, the you, the extra day, if it's birds, what's it going to be? Hmm? Yeah, the extra day is going to be the wren, the king of the birds. The wren, the wren, the king of the birds. And since Stephen's day was found in the first, the day after the winter solstice, hunted, king of the birds, sacrificed, go for the extra day. So I could have used other own. The seven stars. It's a beautiful pattern when you see it. Yeah, it's lovely. Seven pattern. Seven stars. Beautiful. It doesn't line up quite correctly on paper, I'm afraid. And you know that some of them rule more than one planet, and I had to make an aesthetic choice to get the balance right. Some of you would say that the, some of them should go into the other planets because of the balance or the energies or the numerological symbolism. It doesn't always work on paper. Sometimes you have to make changes. And then I've explained the three. Does that help? Any more questions? Go on, you can ask me any question. I've settled down now, the nerves have gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm much more calm than I was. I think the tea helps. <laughs>